Indeed, this is a very, very serious topic. Now, we are, of course, celebrating Blood Donation Month in South Africa, and uh, that's in the lead-up to World Blood Donor Day on the 14th of June. And while many of us make the effort to go out and donate blood, we don't often see the end result and the effect it has on the lives of so many. Well, take a look at this, because here is just one good reason why you should donate your blood. Diagnosed with a serious blood disorder in her teens, Mbali Bloss's life literally depends on the ongoing generosity of blood donors. She started by being, by saying she was always tired. And then it was, when was it Monday or Tuesday when she was supposed to go to school? And she, she was walking to school, but she couldn't reach the school. And then we took her to the pediatrician, and then she sent us at Bara Oncology Clinic where they did some tests, and after that we got the result. The result said she has aplastic anemia. Aplastic anemia is a condition in which your bone marrow simply can't make enough new blood cells. After we did some researches and some thorough explanations from the doctors, we realized that uh, through her getting blood, she was going to be okay, but the main thing that can heal her is bone marrow transplant. Mbali receives regular blood transfusions, a process that can take up to seven hours, but without it, she would not survive. I go to the hospital once a week, whereby I get a transfusion of um, two pints of blood once a month and one platelet unit every week. I'd like to say thank you to all the donors who have been, all the people that have been donating blood and if you haven't started donating blood, can you please go out and donate blood? Because it's very important and you save three lives by donating blood. And there you have it, the importance of being a hero and donating some of your blood. It saves lives. Now, joining us in studio this morning, we have Marlies Maton from the Western Province Blood Transfusion Service. Marlies, very nice to have you in studio. Thank you so much for joining us. And talking about this issue, it is a serious issue. And of course, we want to urge everyone out there who's able to, to go out, be a hero, and donate their blood. What is the criteria for somebody to go donate blood? Do they need to be of a certain age and a certain state of health? Yes, we have a basic donor criteria. You have to be between the ages of 16 to 65. You have to weigh more than 50 kilograms. You have to be medically healthy, so no colds and flus. Mm -hmm. And you have to lead a safe sexual lifestyle. And then you just have to be committed to helping others. It's really as easy as that. Exactly. If you're unsure, then we urge you to either contact us or visit one of our clinics. Go in if you're not sure about some medication you're using or um, you know, an operation you had. Please go in. We have qualified nurses that will help you and be able to assist you as well. All right, perfect. Now, when it comes to the certain types of blood, obviously there's a whole different range of types. As the Western Province uh, Blood Donation Transfusion Service, I mean, do you guys look for a specific type of blood type to be donated or do you accept across the board? Is that what you guys want? We need across the board, definitely. Yeah. Um, we use the ABO system. There's a lot of systems, but we use the ABO system. So you have O positive, O negative, then mm. A pos, A neg, B pos, B neg, and then A B yeah. pos and A B neg. And there's a difference between the rarest blood group and the one that's used the most. The rarest blood group is A B negative. That's about one out of every 250 people who oh, has wow. that wow, um, as a, a blood group. Yeah. The one we use the most, though, is the O blood group yeah. um, because that blood group is the universal donor. In other words, they can give blood to any other blood groups. Yeah. And we use them in the cases of emergency where there is no time to test the ABO group of the person. Mm, all right. What are some of the reasons? Because I know that you know they, we have fantastic you know uh, people across South Africa who goes out and donates blood, um, but there's also a population that, that that don't. What are some of the reasons why people don't donate blood? And I can only imagine that it could be a fear of needles for one. Definitely, <laughs> that's the number one deterrent across the world is that needle. Uh. But it, I can promise you, it's really not that bad. <laughs> um, the finger prick is the worst for me as well. So um, you yeah. know, after that, the, it it is a bit uneasy. 
but mm -hmm. if you become a regular donor, it becomes very easy. Um, and besides that, we have a lot of donors that cease to donate blood because um, of time constraints. We live in a very mm -hmm. busy time, very busy society. So there's that whole issue as well of, is there, mm -hmm. do I have enough time? Um, somebody else will donate blood, I don't have to. But what if somebody else don't donate blood? Um, exactly. We'll always need you to come forward. Yeah. But of course, you also want to make it as comfortable and as easy as, you know, as you can for people to go out and donate blood. What have you got planned for this month, World blood, also World Blood Donor Day? Well, what we do is we have mobile units um, that, go th that goes out to residential areas, shopping malls, factories, businesses, tertiary institutions, schools. Um, we're all over there. We try to bring blood donation to the people to make it easy accessible. And um, for this month as well, we urge people to know their blood group, especially here yeah, in the Western Cape. Nice. I can talk from our perspective. Um, we ask people to know their blood group. Um, go out to some of the shopping malls. They can visit our website. We do blood group testing. So get out there, know your blood group, and yes, just be part of this wonderful month. Be a hero. Be a hero. Michael Moniz, thank you so much for joining us this morning, and all the best throughout the course of this month. Thank you, we're gonna need it. Indeed. Now, if you wanna know exactly how you can be a hero and donate your blood, we'll put the Western Province Blood Transfusion Services details, as well as the South African National um, Blood Services details on our website, expressoshow.com. Go out there, donate your blood, and be a hero. It definitely saves lives. We'll be back after the break.